But Vince, tell me, you know, we've known each other for five years mm -hmm. or so. We both became plant-based around the same time and for very different reasons. Mm -hmm. Hit it. Why, why did you become plant-based? Uh, mine was for health reasons. Okay. So originally it was about, wow, it was maybe 14 years ago. Um, I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, which is basically an inflammation of the colon. Let me just ask you something. I don't want to get too personal with no, you, no, but I'm... I know people are interested. With the symptoms, mm -hmm. and you said, you know, there was blood, there was, uh, you know, d uh, diarrhea. Now, was this, did it alternate or was it constant? It was, it was constant. So at, then I went to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation I was still involved with. I went to an event where I met someone who had the same condition. He goes, you really want to start looking at a vegan diet and having green juices. And I was just like, really? Like, I'm not supposed to have greens. I'm not supposed to have fiber. He's like, well, then I didn't realize that juices remove the fiber at that point, you know? So I was like, you know what? I've tried some extreme stuff to get rid of this stuff. This seems pretty, this seems I'll pretty give it easy, a go. Yeah. you know? And so I started having a green juice every morning. And I remember the first time I had a green juice, I went to the store, I bought a green juice, I brought it home, and I waited. And I'm like, something, I, I have to be ready for my body to yes. reject this green juice. Had the green juice, felt fine. I was like, oh, let me do it a second time. So next day, I'd have a green juice. So then every morning, I'd go get my green juice. That was like my little thing. I'd go to the, the juice shop down the street, pick up my green juice, drink my greens. And I'm like, hmm, I'm feeling, I'm not, nothing's happening. So then I, I started moving on to salad. Then I like had a salad. And I was like, okay, nothing's happening with the salad. And so it eventually just kind of moved on from there and I started incorporating more vegetables. So I would slowly start incorporating these things into my diet. And that's when I noticed some of my symptoms started to go away. Wow. Now I never fully went off my medication. I'm, and I still take some meds. Mm -hmm. um, and I Which is actually a really good point because I think a lot of people sort of think, particularly on a whole food plant, based diet, they think, oh, they feel guilty if you're taking any meds, and you shouldn't do at all. I mean... Yeah, and there's, you know, and you've touched about it before, where there's a lot of people that preach one way for everybody, and it's, it's not it's like just, that. It just doesn't work like that. Everybody has different health conditions, and therefore, you know, you've got to work with what you've got. Yeah, and what I did too is I took a food sensitivity test. So everybody talks about brown rice being good. I have issues with brown rice. And I noticed it because I would try to eat brown rice because everybody's like, brown rice is healthier. Have it more than white rice. But because the way it, it's not processed and it still has the husk on there and it's more difficult to digest, that was causing me problems. Yeah, yeah. So you really have to listen to your body and figure out what's working and what isn't. So when you... Because then, about five years ago, you became completely whole food, plant-based. Mm -hmm. And you felt that really made a difference. Yeah, I, I felt an improvement um, to the point where like, a lot of my symptoms were gone. And, and uh, do you think that that has something to do with the fact that eliminating meat and dairy from your diet yes. reduces dramatically, oh, um, reduces inflammation? Without a doubt. Without a doubt, I think... Dairy, when I, when I work with clients, dairy is the one thing where it's like, we need to figure out a way to get you off dairy. Right. You know, even if, if, if you want to continue to eat other foods, and we'll work through that, but dairy is the one where there's just no benefit to dairy. Yeah. That I can, that I can see. You could get every, all the benefits from dairy, you can get from a more optimal plant-based source. Absolutely.